your birthday? August 20th, 2003. Okay. So you're born August 20th, 2003. Because you're born in 2003, you're going to have the characteristics of any of the goat energy because that is the year of the goat. So you have to think of it like this. The earth is spinning. And once every 12 years, it spins with different energy. And whenever you're born, you're imprinted with that energy that it's spinning with. So it's imprinted on you. So that means because you're a goat, you're going to have good goat years and you're going to have bad ox years. The next year, the ox is 2033. That's probably a year that you have to lay low a little bit. The next goat year is 2027. I'm willing to bet that you're going to fucking blow the hell up faster than any time in your life that year. Andrew Tate was born 1986, the year of the tiger. When he come up, 2022, the year of the tiger. Don't you know someone named Sneeko? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a Sneeko born the tiger 1998, too. the year of the tiger. He got his first Millie last year, 2022, the year of the tiger. There's another guy called Mr. Beast. He's born 1998, year of the tiger. And what he do last year? He got a billion dollar evaluation for his YouTube. He basically became a billionaire last year. You know who Tom Cruise is? Mm-hmm. Tom Cruise is born 1962, the year of the tiger. The first Top Gun movie came out 1986, the year of the tiger. He became a star. And then last year, the, the uh, second Top Gun movie came out 2002, 2022, the year of the tiger. He's a tiger. He was the highest paid actor in Hollywood last year. So again, not one, not two, not three, but four examples of how this works in everyday life. This is what the women won't do. They will not give you these type of examples. They will just say, trust me, guess what? We don't trust you. <laughs>